Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash mailbag video. So again, you guys can ask me your questions on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or the YouTube comment section using the hashtag AskPat. And if you ask an original question, uh, it definitely could be featured in the next video. So make sure to follow me on all those different places. Drop a like on your favorite questions so they're a little bit easier for me to see. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the questions, starting out with at MDER3A, who asks, do you think it would be a good idea for Supercell to put high-level raids live for spectating like in League of Legends? So this is a pretty cool idea and it's actually something they already have the technology for something which was really cool that I saw I think like three or four months ago at the Supercell office is they actually had a TV setup uh, that non-stop showed raids of people attacking inside of the Champions League so it was really cool I'm gonna throw a picture up on the screen right now this one's actually like a Town Hall 7 attack because they switched it for the finished clash event when I took this picture but pretty much it was a non-stop repeating cycle of live raids that you could just watch over and over again and it would show the entire raid it would show like five seconds after to show the result and then it would go ahead and find another raid from the system and they could program it however they wanted to they made it at one point so it only showed champion league raids and then they made it for finished clash where it only spectated raids from the clans that were participating so imagine a feature where they could just show raids for people above 4500 trophies and uh, people could go to the obviously clash of clans and like maybe check out some sort of maybe it would be in the settings menu and uh, you could just view raids across the ward world and watch some of the high level trophy players attack I feel like that would be pretty cool, not only for uh, how addictive it is watching these raids. I'm telling you guys when I was at the office, I would sit there for 10, 15 minutes and just watch raids over and over again. But it's a good idea for people to see different attack strategies, see what some of the high level players are using. I feel it would be feel like it would be something pretty cool and uh, something that you could definitely do or watch while your troops train up. So if you guys think that's cool, drop a comment in the comment section below. I know the Supercell people thought it was awesome. And I know I thought it was awesome when I checked it out in the office. But to be able to do that from the game or maybe even if they have like a live stream that just showed high level player attacks 24 7 something like that would be really cool and uh, something that i would definitely enjoy so next question from tommy he asked do you think supercell would ever do clan or spell donation for clan castles so this would be something interesting and i think it would actually be pretty cool seeing as we have the dark elixir spells now um I think it would be neat, and I guess the only complaint, which is really small, is that we already have so many buttons uh, inside of our army camps right now, whether it's 10 different types of elixir troops, I guess it's like 6 types of dark elixir troops, plus you have your king, you have your queen, you have the icon for your clan castle, uh, you have the icon for 3 dark elixir spells, 5 regular spells, so there's already a lot of buttons when you're deploying troops and spells on the map, but I guess one more wouldn't really hurt, so I actually think it would be pretty cool. You could even make it to where it's like the king and queen, where you press their button twice, once to drop them and once to activate their ability. Maybe they can make it so the clan castle button you could click twice, and the first time would actually drop the clan castle troops, and when you deploy it for the second time, uh, it would drop a spell on the location uh, where you selected. So yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I think spell donations make a lot of sense now that we have a lot more spell diversity, especially with the Dark Elixir spells. Maybe not a year ago, it would have been a little bit different, uh, even before like the free spells came out and you only had four spells. But now that we have eight different types of spells, I feel like spell donations would be pretty neat. And uh, yeah, that would be something cool for them to add to the game. All right, so next question is from Gabe, and he asked on YouTube, what theme would you like for Town Hall 11 to be? What new things would you want to be added to fit that theme? For example, Town Hall 10 was fire and lava themed and added the Inferno Tower. So Town Hall 11 is definitely going to have to have a theme attached to it, and it's going to be, I guess, one or two options. The first option would be they just make it like level 11 walls and have it be fully electric, light blue, which... That would be pretty crazy. I feel like a lot of people uh, would be freaking out. Their eyes would be going crazy if it was just all these blue lights everywhere. So it'll be interesting. They either have to design the town hall around level 11 walls, or they have to change the design of level 11 walls to match the new town hall color. So for example, if town hall 11 uh, was going to be white, then I imagine they would change the level 11 walls to be white so it fits in with the color scheme of the town hall. Because right now, if you look at the Town Hall levels, a fully maxed out Town Hall 8 looks amazing, has all the black skull walls, and it fits in with the defenses. Town Hall 9, in my opinion, when it's fully maxed out, is the coolest Town Hall in the game. Because you have the black Town Hall, you have like the black Expos, everything really fits in together and looks sort of spooky. And then when you have Town Hall 10 and it's fully maxed out, even though it is sort of lava themed, like games, Gabe said, um, it actually is really weird because you have those level 11 walls that make no sense whatsoever and don't fit in with the Town Hall levels. So... 
I would hope that for Town Hall 11, it has its own theme. Maybe for me, I could see it being sort of like a white theme since they had black for Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 9. They had red for Town Hall 10. Maybe a, a white theme would be cool. I feel like green might be pretty weird. I don't know what other colors they would do, um, but white would be pretty neat, especially if they changed the level 11 walls to be some sort of, I don't know, like lightning, who, who knows what they would look like, but just different than the light blue ones they have now. And uh, as far as like adding new defenses, he said the Inferno Tower for Town Hall 11, I guess if you had a white themed town hall and it was sort of like heavenly, I don't even know what type of defense you'd have to add to it, but they're going to have to make a really cool defense for town hall 11 if they want people to upgrade it, because it's obviously a pretty big jump. You're going to not be able to farm town hall nines as effectively when you're town hall 11. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. If uh, town hall 11 does get like a new theme and a new set of walls, I'm really excited to see what type of theme they go with. If you guys have an idea for a theme for town hall 11, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, but that's sort of my thoughts on what they would have to do right now. Okay, so next question from Chuck. He asked, do you think there will be something where the only troops you ask for, or do you think there will be something where only the troops you ask for get donated so people don't get wall breakers or bar barbarians or goblins? So this is something that I didn't understand when they added in the donation feature and they added in so you could request what troops you wanted. It makes more a lot more sense if there was a filter to where if you could request, hey, I want two wizards, one dragon, and um, let's see, two archers then you could actually just fill that out in your donation list. And when people go to donate to you, all the other troops are blacked out except for dragons, um, the archers and wizards. And it would be like, it would show how many you wanted and how many have already been donated. Pretty much it would make it so it would be impossible to get the troops that you don't want. You could make a filter for what exactly you wanted. So yeah, I would say, let's say I wanted two witches, two wizards, three barbarians. If I put that into my donation, then it would actually show up on the screen when people went to donate. And if they tried to donate me wall breakers, barbarians or goblins or maybe they tried to donate me a golem on accident it actually wouldn't allow their troop to go through unless it was the troop that i requested for um yeah so that that's pretty much the idea and i was really surprised when they made the first donation request feature that they didn't include that into the game they made it a lot easier obviously making a, a simple message is e easier than programming in a way to have a filter so troops specific troops can come in like barbarians and goblins but i feel like that would definitely be a nice addition to the game it's sort of annoying when you donate something or when you request for troops and someone donates the wrong thing whether it's by accident or they want to troll you depending on what type of clan you're in and then you have to wait another 20 minutes to to request your clan castle again or gem it which no one wants to do so to be able to add those specific filters so you always get exactly the clan castle troops you want to get i feel like that would be something that a lot of people would enjoy and uh, something i would definitely like to see in the game however I'm not too optimistic about it. I feel like they would have done it uh, right away when they added in the troop request feature to where you could actually type in what you wanted because it used to be you couldn't you couldn't type in what you wanted for your clan castle request. I don't know if a lot of all you guys played back then, but it used to be you just requested clan castle troops and there was no message that went along with it. So you literally donated your troops and then you had to type it or you, you requested for troops. You had to type in a chat and then you had to pray that someone gave you the right donations, uh, which was pretty sketchy. So then they added in the fact that you could add a message to your request, but still it's not perfect right now. And if they added in the way for you to filter out the troops that you actually receive, I feel like that would be the perfect way to handle donations for the game and especially you could add that into clan wars so people are always getting what type of troops they want inside of their clan war clan castles so that's going to do it for the questions today i hope you guys enjoyed this video there's some pretty interesting questions if you guys have a question again you can drop them on my facebook twitter or instagram all the links are in the description below or you can just hit me up in the youtube comment section and to make sure to drop a like on your favorite questions so they are a little bit easier for me to check out so that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time i will see you guys later peace out out.